On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the new Reclaimer 18 shotgun. Let's go test it out. So obviously our Reclaimer 18 here is this game's version of the Spaz 12 or the Galley, you know, depending on which one you prefer. But I already went and leveled this up and got this gold on stream. So shout out to those of you that came by the stream. And in that, we went ahead and did the new Unstable Rift. That's why we have this camo on here. And let me tell you, while we were messing around with this weapon, do not use this without slugs because it is bad. Slugs are definitely necessary for this weapon because you can see it wasn't even one-shotting zombies here in tier one unless I was hitting headshots. But let's go ahead and give this a test on zombies in tier two. All right, how are we doing against these tier two zombies? Here's just a normal hellhound. Takes a few shots to kill him. And a few crits here to take out this zombie. He's still not even dead. Hold on. One moment. Just gotta reload each individual shell. And there you go. Against armor, it's not that much better. But normally with this, if you don't have any slugs in here, it does have two firing modes. It has a pump action mode and a semi-auto mode. But with the slugs, it's always pump action. And you can probably guess how this is going to go against some tier three zombies. But just to show you guys, it basically does nothing. Unpack a punch, unupgraded. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get it to level three. Get it to legendary. I'm going to throw on these golden plates just for my own safety. And after pack a punch, we have 20 rounds in the, the mag in the chamber loaded into our gun. So that's pretty decent and 150 rounds in reserve. And it will now one shot zombies to the head. Against these elites though, takes a little more shots, but definitely want to be aiming for the critical point on whatever you're firing at. Because just hip firing it, it's decent. It's all right, but you're definitely way more accurate without it. But after pack a punching it, the fire rate is way faster. The reload is not though. Reload is still very slow. But for a quick little warm up, let's give this a chance against a tier two HVT. What do we got? Oh, a mangler. And it already died. It did not want the smoke. Let's go ahead and try that again. What are we getting this time? Another mangler. What's going on, dude? Let's see what our first shot is doing. Broke his chest armor immediately or was that his helmet? Nope, chest armor. His helmet's gone immediately and he's dead in three shots. That ain't bad. All right, uh, let's go ahead and grab Speed Cola before it gets too bad for us. Same with some stamina up. We'll just basically grab everything but Elemental. We got a nice little monolith here, but we do not have Brain Rot for it. And I honestly don't have very much confidence in this in the Unstable Rift anyways. It is way too serious in there. But what we can do is test this out against the Stormcaller. If he's still here, if he's still alive. Mr. Stormcaller, are you here? How am I doing against your uh, Disciples? No pun intended. Uh, it's decent. It's still a two-shot kill here. A little disciple boost makes it so they're not a one-shot. Well, I don't think the Stormcaller's here. He's already been iced. He's KIA. All right, Stormcaller. We tried. You're too bitch-made to fight us. Look how far the slug spread is with this. This is insane. It's like fireworks. And look how fast this reload is now with Speed Cola. This is so satisfying. Insanely fast. Day and night difference. But now that we've seen both reload speeds, let's go ahead and use our mag of holding. And now we have 120 rounds in this. Not our max ammo. Maybe these zombies would be nice enough to drop me some. So it looks like we max out at around 168 for total ammo in this. Oh, wait, 170. That's pretty decent for a shotgun that can basically one shot. Now let's test this out against a tier three bounty. What are we getting from this? Please be an abomination. Oh, it is. Let's go. All right, buddy. You know what time it is. Time for me to test out a new weapon on you. How's it doing? Yeah, shoot that laser. Let's try to get a little closer. Oh, we broke a face within like two shots. Yeah, go ahead and run. Try me. It ain't gonna end well for you either way. Stop rushing me down. Knock it off. Relax. Calm yourself. There we go. Can I even hit the crit spot? Not looking like it. He's charging. And here's the laser. That's four or five shots to break another face? That's not bad. Go ahead and yell. All right, or don't. This guy does not want to listen. But we already got two faces down on him pretty fast. If he would just stop running after me, we can get the next one down. There it is. Night, night, buddy. See you later. Oof. This is not bad at taking out some abominations, I tell you what. A lot better than I thought it'd be, to be honest. Have these pieces of wood always been here, or if I just never looked in this direction? Either way, something new added to the map, along with this monolith here, which uh, I need to get some camos anyways. So let's put on napalm burst. 
Let's activate it, and we'll do some camo grinding right here. Because even though I said I have no confidence in this thing being able to handle the, the unstable rift, we might as well give it a try anyways. So I really, really don't think we can survive the whole way through it, but it'll be fun to try it. And we still need to get about 200 more kills, and then after that, we need to get our 10 special or elite zombies. So this would be a good way to do it. And there we go. Just completed it. Didn't really get a whole lot from it, but if we are going to attempt this old Dark Aether thing... We might need to fill up on self revives. But that's one monolith down. We need three total in the game. Doesn't matter if we do it or if other teams do it, I'm pretty sure. So let's go see if that other monolith is there. Oh, this guy wants to join in? Fine. Go ahead. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm fumbling over all of my keys. I did not mean to deny the request. Where'd he go? Is this guy? Invite. Let's go. Did he finish this brain rot one? He didn't. So let's throw brain rot on. And let's start her up. There we go. That's two down. One to go. I should probably go make sure I got self revised before we go into it. If we can even find one more monolith. And I should probably pack a punch this at least once if I want any chance of making it to that rift before another team does. So I'm going to be pissed if they steal it. And there's the last monolith. This should be really easy. What do we got to do? More brain rot. Good thing I grabbed another one. Oh, we actually still have it on. Let's just hope that this portal spawns somewhere near us. Oh, and there we go. The portal spawned in. Who cares about a reward? It's 600 meters away, though. I don't think it always spawns in the same spot. I've had it spawn in quite a few different spots, but I think we should be able to get to this. Nobody get to it before me. I will sue. Oh, our teammate's already there. Let's go. What a guy. Let's go ahead and vote yes. Hopefully, we can survive. We might not be making it out of this alive, but maybe we'll be making it out of this with... Borealis. We've officially teleported into hell. How many self-revives do I have? A good amount. Could use some other things, but it's fine. I'm going to go up here to my hidey hole and hopefully I survive. How are we doing against zombies in here? I think it's still a two-shot kill. And we're probably going to get overwhelmed pretty fast. Aether Shroud already. I'm thinking I might have to change ammo mods here. Let's go with Shatter Blast. I feel like that's a better way to kill more zombies with this. But once those bosses start spawning, I might switch back to Brain Rot. I feel like that's the best way to take down those mimics that show up. Those are the biggest threat. Oh, and he's already gone down. Shit. I hope you got self-revives, pal. Because it ain't getting easier from here. I'll tell you that for free. Get up. Oh, jeez. I don't even know if we make it past, like, phase two. This is bad. Like, we're killing them, just not fast enough. Not fast enough to help us survive. Oh, no. Come on, nerd. You gotta help me out here. Get up. Why don't you just end our suffering game and, and spawn in the boss? And I'm gonna be farming XP with these revives, it looks like. Oh, no way we're here is safe. I feel like this is only possible to do with an RGL or a crossbow. Outside of that, shit is not getting done. Oh, there's our Zircon skill, though. Now we just need our special or elites. It'll definitely be a challenge. Oh, and here's our boss. If it ever decides to show its face, there he is. Um, let's go ahead and switch this back to Brain Rot. Maybe we can actually get some damage on him. Or turn some zombies so they can distract for a bit. Oh, we got him to half health. Not bad. And this should kill him. First phase. Barely survived, I'm not going to lie. And what are we getting for a reward for that? Nice. I will take both of these. Once this next phase starts, I'm putting down a sentry gun. This is basically going to be our big durable decoy. I'm going to ping right here, see if he comes on up. Come on up here. Yeah, this is a safe spot. This is our safe space. Let's we'll see how long it takes for us to get overwhelmed up here. I feel like it won't be long. Actually, let's do this. Throw that over there. Let's grab this decoy, throw it down the stairs. Mimic, I need you to go away. You're messing up my plan here because I want this sentry gun right here and actually with the amount of mimics that have been spawning we should be able to get serpent's knight easily as long as we're the one getting the kills on them ain't that right mimic this is actually working way better than i thought without an rgl we are handling this those sentry guns are so worth it we desperately need another one out of our next reward rift though because uh we're fresh out is that our camo i feel like that's 10 mimics nope we still need more Oh, and Thunder's gonna hit in here? That's fucked up. That can happen? That's not fair. Can I stick this revive? I cannot. Yes, I can. I'm the greatest. 
And that's my camo. Go ahead and show me it. Yes, sir. We somehow pulled it off. But we got a long battle ahead of us. Can I stick this? Dude, I'm, I'm actually the best. Never mind. I take it all back. Did he help me like I helped him? Nope. Let's throw one of these. Let's also get fucking electrocuted. Cashmere. And can I revive you, please? Yep. Where'd that cashmere even go? Okay, I had to jump down. Ain't no way we're surviving up there. At least not how things are currently standing. We have to make our way back up. Oh, and there's our boss. Phase two boss. Can I please make it back upstairs? Yes, I can. And let's stick it. Dude, I'm the best teammate there ever was. Not to suck my own dick or anything. But I'm stroking it. We really need to kill this boss soon. That way we can start the timer for the next boss. Uh-oh. Yikes. We're both going to have to use our self-revives here. Or I'm going to have to use mine. And I cannot get back up to him. These zombies are not letting me. They are ruthless. Oh, and of course, it's the boss blocking us up the stairs. I ain't using another one. You got to use yours, pal. Oh, and he's sticking it. He still got it. What a man. If we just focus the boss, though, we can just end this phase and all these zombies will despawn. At least I think so. I'm going to keep wailing on him. Can we take him out? There needs to be like a nade or something on the ground that I can use. Oh, shit. That's a bad corner to be in. Okay. Breacher drone. Go. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's got to be another nade here somewhere. There, an actual nade. Hopefully that kills somebody. Shit, dude. Not like this. Let's at least get through the second phase. Almost dead. Got him. Let's go. Oh, does it automatically revive everybody once you finish the phase? That's sweet. I didn't know that. Oh, and please say we got something good here. One cluster mine. Some more explosives, though. That should help. But not by a whole lot. Our time's running out here. I got three self-revives left. And we're in for a world of pain. Oh, he's got a sentry gun, though? Hell yeah. Put that shit down. I just literally have to pick up every lethal I see on the ground and throw it. That is our only way for survival. Maybe we just try using our Scorcher. A wonder weapon could be nice right about now. So let's just try to spam that. This is supposed to be the easy part. A final boss is what's supposed to really me be messing us up. Oh, this is so much better. Oh, may maybe not. Do I use the self revive? I got to. How many got left? One. I'm on my last one. Oh, we got the boss spawning. This actually might be a legendary run. I'm starting to feel it. But my plan is to fly up, go up to here, and then maybe I can just flop on them. Yeah, that didn't work as well as I thought. We're still living. We're still doing shit. Things are happening. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. I feel like I'm bonding with this guy and I haven't said a word to him. We're just going through trauma together. We're trauma bonding. Let's see if I can land on this side and add in support. Oh, I can just fork focus the storm caller here. I said focus. Can the zombies find me? Are they going to go away? Are they going to leave him alone? I don't think so. And I only have one self revive left. And there it is. This is bad. This is very bad. Okay, we're going to fly up. I'm going to try to stick it. Come on, buddy. We're not done yet. And we might as well use this while we got it. What is it? Bonus points. Awesome. Thanks, Tombstone. Very helpful. Oh, he's got a jug. That's huge. Knock him out. Oh, we got him. We made it through the phase. That's insane. What a guy. There's no way we survive the next one though, right? If we can survive these next two phases, I will be crowned the best zombies player ever. And there's no denying it. Oh no. He's down. Mimic's grabbing me. I'm flying away. Is there any possible way I can get him up? We need to find a decoy or something or get our field upgrade. There we go. Oh, he still has a self revive. We got to keep him on that for as long as possible. That's our, our best way out of here. Maybe this is a better camping spot here. I don't think zombies can come from behind us. We might actually be able to do this. I keep gaining and losing hope back and forth. Bad mimic. 
Holy shit. I have no idea how I'm alive. Okay. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? I don't know if I can. No. No. I don't got to self-revive. This is on you, buddy. I tried. Shit. That might be his last self-revive. And I don't know if he has a decoy or anything. Oh, but the boss just spawned. No. We tried. We tried, buddy. He has another one. Oh, and he's reviving me. Oh, we got to take off. Let's go. He sacrificed himself for me. Okay, I just need to get an Aether Shroud. And we're, we're right back where we need to be. There we go. Beautiful. I got you, pal. This is the most stressful game I've ever played in my life. No, I got sniped out of the air. That might be it if he doesn't have another self-revive. Oh, shit. Well, it was a good run while it lasted. You're my hero, nerd. We tried our best, but we got fucked up. As long as we get to go out together, I'm happy. Goodbye, buddy. Damn. Made it way farther in there than I ever hoped to, though. Or ever even expected to. That unstable rift is insanely difficult. And I have no idea how you beat it without explosives. Zero idea. But overall review of the Reclaimer 18, it did way better than I expected. I still think maybe the Haymaker with Slugs is better just because it fires a bit faster. But damage-wise, I think it's right up there with it. Same with like pre-nerf Lockwood 680. It can still do damage. It can handle itself in Tier 3 and in the Dark Aether. But in the Unstable Rift, I don't know if there's too many weapons that can clear it on its own besides like the RGL and the crossbow. But I'll say it was respectable in there. I could at least do a little bit of damage, but the fire rate on it is just too slow to handle those massive hordes and all those elites at the same time. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.